Hi, my name is William Chow, and I am a IBM Big Data Technical Specialist. For this session, I'll be providing an overview of the new IBM Fluid Query capability, and also be following it up with a quick demo on how to use it. Data warehouse environments are rapidly changing to keep pace with the demands for user self-service, increased agility, lower cost solutions, adoption of open source technologies such as Hadoop, being able to handle and process new data types, whether it's structured, semi-structured, or unstructured, all in an effort to get better business insight more efficiently. These requirements have led many organizations to consider adopting different types of database appliances, Hadoop environments, NoSQL data stores, and even data platforms on the cloud. The idea of a single system holding all the data is no longer the prevailing architecture approach. As such, the architecture of a single enterprise data warehouse is evolving toward a logical data warehouse, an LDW, which is used to describe the collection of data assets, which may reside in different forms, structures, and platforms, yet all support the data requirements for analytics. The LDW architecture approach allows organizations the ability to manage all the different types of data they have with varying SLAs in the location where it makes the most sense using the right tool for the right purpose. It also abstracts data access, so applications don't have to change in order to gain insight from data across the LDW. This may sound trivial, but today organizations lack the tools to enable this fluid data access to gain insight from all their data sources. Now let's go into how we bring the LDW to life. The fundamental principle of big data is to move as little data as possible when working with big data, you want to push as much processing to the data as possible, rather than move big data to the processing. So what is IBM Fluid Query? Well, it's the capability that unifies data access across the LDW. When accessing data in the LDW, it will route a query, or even part of a query, to the correct data store within the LDW, so that the query can flow to the data, rather than having the data flow to the query. So no matter where a user connects within the LDW, they can access all the data through the same API or SQL access. And this gives the users the ability to combine their data, even if it's spread across various sources in a fast, agile manner to drive analytics and deeper insight without having to understand how to connect multiple data stores, use different syntaxes or APIs, or having to change their application. Fluid Query 1.0 in its initial release provides access to data in Hadoop from the IBM Peer Data System for Analytics appliances. This has been generally available since March 27, 2015. Fluid Query has two capabilities. The Data Connector feature, which allows you to route SQL from PDA to any of the leading Hadoop service providers, for example, IBM Big Insights, Hortonworks, and Cloudera. The second feature is the data movement feature, which allows rapid data movement between PDA and Hadoop. For the first uh, feature, what it essentially allows you to do is to query any Hadoop distribution from the Pure Data System for Analytics appliance using SQL. And it can access Big SQL on Big Insights, and Paula on Cloudera, or Hive on Hortonworks. So it allows you to harness the data that exists on Hadoop as well as within the Peer Data System for Analytics appliance all from a single place. So you don't have to go from one system to another. You can get access to all your data from the Peer Data System for Analytics appliance. These are just some of the fluid query use cases. If you're using Hadoop as a, a landing area for, for just discovery and exploration, you can query that data using fluid query from PDA. If you're archiving data uh, to Hadoop from PDA or from any other database, you also have access uh, to that data from PDA using SQL. Uh, if you have data that's of, of less value or if it's older and you want to archive it to Hadoop uh, and you want to keep the, the more current data on PDA, you have the ability to run queries which combine the hot data from PDA with the cold data from Hadoop. Also, for a data warehouse capacity relief, what you could do is you can back up your database to Hadoop 
and only query that data in a DR situation. So how do you get Fluid Query? Well, it's a free software package which can be installed on any of the IBM Pure Data System for Analytics appliances listed here, the TwinFin, Striper, and the Mako. Note that for each machine model, there is a minimum MPS and IBM Netiza Analytics level which you must be at for it to work. With Fluid Query installed on your PDA appliance, you'll have access to the following Hadoop distributions. Hortonworks Data Platform, Cloudera, and IBM Big Insights. And now for the demo. To demonstrate Fluid Query, I will show you how to download, install, configure, register, and use the Fluid Query Data Connector feature on the IBM Pure Data System for Analytics Appliance to access data on Hadoop by running Hive and Big SQL queries directly from PDA simply by using SQL on PDA. You obtain Fluid Query by going to IBM Fix Central going to the product group information management, Netiza application, select IBM Fluid Query, uh, Linux, click continue. Uh, you would browse for fixes, click continue, and you see the uh, available releases of IBM Fluid Query. The current release is uh, 1001, select that, continue. And there's two files, there's the tar.gz, which is the fluid query package, and also the, the PDF user guide. So you click that, and just save it to your system. As a prerequisite, the IBM Netiz Analytics must be installed on the PDA system where you want fluid query to run on. To check for that, uh, you can run this command, uh, which will tell you if INZ is installed. The next step is to install the Fluid Query Data Connector on your PDA system. So what you want to do is uh, upload that tar.gz file onto your PDA system. Here I just put in a Fluid Query directory. And what you want to do is just extract that file. And this will extract uh, two tar files. One's for the uh, data movement feature, the other is for the data connector feature. And we'll be installing the data connector feature, which is the fluid query SQL tar file. So extract that. And then once you extract that, you have to install the data connector feature by running uh, the fluid query underscore install.pl script. So let that run. And it'll install into the uh, appropriate location on your PDA appliance. Let's give it a moment. And voila, it is done. Fluid Query supports JDBC connections to Hive, Big SQL, and Impala. In order to connect to the Hadoop distribution using Fluid Query, you'll have to obtain the JDBC drivers from the Hadoop service provider. So to do that, uh, Simply go to the installation directory on my PDA system. Uh, under the libs uh, directory, uh, there's a folder for Cloudera, one for Hortonworks, and one for IBM. Initially, they're all empty. If I go to the IBM folder, uh, this placeholder for Big SQL, if I go in there, uh, it's empty right now. What I can do is I can get the JDBC driver from my Big Insights distribution just by uh, secure copying it over uh, from there to my PDA system. And that's it. Uh, if I also want to connect to, uh, for example, Hive, uh, I'll have to obtain the, the JAR files and JDBC drivers, and I've uh, already done so, as you can see uh, here. Next, you'll need to configure a separate connection to each Hadoop service that you plan to query using Hive, Big SQL, or Impala. So what you'll need to do is simply go to your Fluid Query installation directory here. Uh, in here, there is a script uh, called fqconfigure.sh, and you have to run that. So I'll run that uh, with parameters to connect to Big SQL on my IBM Big Insights distribution. So BIBM is my host name. That's uh, big SQL. I 
we'll call my config file big SQL and the provider is IBM. So if I run that, it's promise me password for big SQL. And to success, there's a big SQL.properties file. If I look at that file, I can see my connection information. So the service is big SQL, the provider is IBM, and my host uh, for my big insights. Now, if I want to create another connection uh, to Hive to my big insights distribution, I can do that as well. So uh, the same VM, Hive, and I'll call my configuration Hive as well. So enter my uh, username for my big insights admin. Uh, the configuration was a success. Just a couple of warnings, but that's, that's okay. And there's a hive.properties file as well. And you can see from the configuration file, the, the service is Hive. So this will allow me to use Big SQL and Hive to access Big Insights. To call and use the data connector functions in your queries, you have to register the data connector functions in the database that you wish to call them. So if I want to access my IBM Big Insights using Hive and Big SQL, I already created those connections. I just have to register them in my database. So if I want to register the functions in my uh, demo DB PDA database, I'll use NDSQL as a demo user, go into that database, see that there's existing tables in my database, existing Natiza tables. If I search for functions with FQ in them, uh, there aren't any registered. So if I go to the Fluid Query Installation Directory, there's another script called fqregister.sh, and you just have to run that uh, with my database, uh, so demo db, the config file, which is big SQL, and I'll call the functions fq big SQL. And this will register uh, functions uh, which are called fq big SQL in my uh, demo db. So if I look for them, so there's four functions which I can now, now call in my uh, demo db. Now, if I want to also register uh, uh, Hive functions, uh, which I can access Hive from my demo db, I can register them using my config file Hive uh, for my connection and call those UDTFs, uh, user-defined table functions. I can call them FQ Hive. So if I go back in, now you see I have uh, eight different functions four for Big SQL and uh, four for Hive. Now I can access Hive and Big SQL from my demo DB. I'll be using the Agenity Workbench for Peer Data System for Analytics to run SQL queries using the Fluid Query Data Connector. So in Agenity Workbench, I can go to my demo DB, see all my tables there. Uh, what's new in Agenity Workbench in the latest version is the Fluid Query Data Sources. This allows me to see all the Fluid Query Data Connections that I've registered. And I can, I can actually expand that and actually look at the database. So these are uh, Hive tables on my Big Insights distribution. And this is accessing the Hive Metastore. So I can actually look at the tables, see the columns, And what I can also do is I can query that table and uh, uh, grab the results uh, from my Hadoop distribution, which is Big Insights. So right now I'm just uh, grabbing 100 records using Hive, and simply doing a, a select star. So you can see all my results here. This is all data uh, from Hadoop uh, accessing it through PDA and if I just modify that query just take out the, the limit uh, I'm using uh, a, a user-defined table function which is called FQ Hive uh, accessing the, the go sales uh, DW database in Hadoop and just calling a, a select star on that table what I can do to simplify this query is I can just create a view on top of this uh, query and this query can be more complicated in this case it's just a simple query but uh, this will essentially abstract uh, the hive query so that uh, I can just access it uh, using a uh, PDA view so here I just created a, a view called VW Hadoop disinventory fact and what I can do is simply uh, call that view uh, from PDA 
and it will grab the same results. So that's how you access Hive or Call Hive from, from PDA uh, to grab results uh, from Hadoop and bring it back. If I wanted to use Big SQL, which is uh, fully ANSI compliant, uh, I can use that uh, to go against my uh, Go Sales uh, data warehouse in Hadoop. I can join multiple tables uh, in, in a more complex SQL statement. So I can grab uh, the product, uh, uh, the order, and the order method uh, all for all products that have been sold. This is uh, querying uh, those tables in Hadoop and, and grabbing the results uh, back. So pushing down the, the processing to Hadoop and just grabbing the results from Hadoop. So we're not bringing everything back, just bringing back uh, what we queried. So from my demo DB, I have the ability to query from PDA uh, any Hadoop distribution using, uh, in my example, Big SQL and Hive. But I can also call an Impala if I configured a connection for Cloudera and registered uh, that in my database. I can call uh, any Big SQL uh, simply by replacing this, this field for my FQ. Uh, big SQL user defined table function and still querying the Go Sales DW in Hadoop. Uh, here I'm just getting the, uh, the total sales by year and I'm ranking them. So, as you can imagine, I can call uh, any, any, any SQL, uh, Big SQL or Hive or Impala within PDA. So, now you have access to Hadoop data as well as PDA data, all using SQL from PDA. In summary, IBM Fluid Query helps to unify data across the logical data warehouse.